As you mentioned each other, if you'd like to mix it up, let's go. And they did, attacking the presumed frontrunner. Well, I did stand up for freedom during the pandemic. From the very beginning, That's I was, not true. I That's was not among true. the loudest voices that You were not one of the loudest it voices. Leslin Lewis questioned whether Pierre Polyev was supportive enough of the anti-vaccine mandate convoy. Then she pressed him on abortion, which she opposes. Mr. Pierre Polyev has ran from the media the last few days because he doesn't want to declare whether he's pro-life or pro-choice. Polyev didn't respond to that remark, though he has said he supports access to abortion. We may not agree on all issues. It was clear Jean Charest's battle was happening in a not entirely friendly room. Mr. Polyev, during that period, supported an illegal blockade. Mr. You cannot Mr. make laws and break Mr. laws Charest. and then... But he plowed on. If I was able to fight back the separatists, it's not this guy here on the stage tonight that's going to intimidate me. Polyev had come prepared to hit back, challenging Charest about his work for Chinese telecom giant Huawei, while Michael Kovrig and Michael Spavor were in jail in China. Mr. Charest, how much money did you get from Huawei when you were working for them, either directly or indirectly? Just the number, please. Okay. Mr. Shreve. Are we talking about the company that Stephen Harper welcomed into Just Canada the number, please. How in much? 2012? How much, sir? The two other men on stage both made appeals for a better tone. And I don't think that attacking each other scorched earth is going to win us an election. If we put on a show that is divisive and, and nasty with each other, I, I just don't see how that unites all Conservatives. A message seemingly not embraced at the end of the night by two of the candidates. And the candidate who skipped the debate, Patrick Brown, was mocked for it. Now he has shown a particular desire to attack Pierre Polyev, meaning next Wednesday's official English language debate with all six candidates on stage, well that could be even more fiery. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.